Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. Today we'll have our 83rd lesson in our vocabulary series. Vocabulary words, day number 83. Let's get going. The very first word we're going to learn today is 436. The word is Narcissistic. Nar C Sis Tick. What does it mean? What does it mean when we describe somebody as being narcissistic? Narcissistic is an adjective. Narcissistic. If you describe someone as being narcissistic, what you're telling me is that this person, a person, person who is in love with himself. A person who is in love with himself or herself is said, is said to be narcissistic. Someone who thinks too highly of themselves. Someone who thinks too highly, too highly of himself. He thinks too highly of himself. He thinks that he is somebody. He is uh, some big shot, uh, some hard shot. Someone who is, someone, someone who is, someone who is vain. And we'll learn this vain in a second. Someone who is vain. Someone who is. Someone who is conceited. Someone who is conceited. And the word narcissistic, narcissistic actually comes from nar cis narcissus. Narciss. Narcissus. It's a Greek, I'm not, I'm not pronouncing it properly. It's a, it's, a, it's a character from Greek mythology. Narciss, I believe it's to pronounce. I don't know why I have the extra. Narciss. Narciss is, is how it's pronounced, I believe. It's a Greek uh, character, from a, a character from Greek mythology. Uh, Narciss was someone who, a boy who was very handsome, very good looking. One day he happened to look, a, look on, in, in a pond and of course when he looked inside the pond he saw his own reflection and when he saw his own reflection he said oh what a cute boy and he fell in love with his own reflection he fell in love with his own oh, yes I know it's the Greek mythology he fell in love with himself after that he had nothing to do with any other women he just fell in love with uh, this reflection in the pond and therefore from the word narcissist we have the word narcissistic narcissistic is somebody who thinks very highly of themselves somebody who is conceited somebody who is vain somebody who is arrogant somebody who is egotistical egomaniac egomaniacal let's learn let's let's put all of those words i'm going to put down a whole bunch of words let's, let's see if we can squeeze them right here a whole bunch of words with the prefix of ego where can we put them let's try to squeeze them here egocentric Egoist, egotist, egotistical, ego, egomaniac, and finally, ego. The last one is tricky. Pay attention here to pronunciation. Egomaniac. And as soon as you put L at the end, the pronunciation changes. Egomaniac and egomaniacal. Egomaniacal, egomaniac. Egotistical, egotist. Egoist, egocentric. 
all of these words here. The reason I'm not going over them right now is because all of these words are something that we learned already on day number 25. On day 25, long time ago. Today is our day number 83 and our vocabulary series. If you just type in vocabulary words day 25, whichever exam that you're preparing for, just type in GRE vocabulary words or SAT vocabulary words or GMAT vocabulary words, day number 25, and you will learn all of these words with the proper pronunciation. All of these, as you can see, have a prefix of ego. Somebody who has a very large ego. Somebody who has a very large ego. Somebody who is egocentric. Somebody who is egoist. Somebody who is egotist. Somebody who is egotistical. Somebody who is egomaniacal. Somebody who is egomaniac. They all mean to be conceited, to be arrogant, to be vain. Somebody who is narcissistic. Somebody who is narcissistic. Let's move on. We're going to learn this word now, vain, separately for a reason. And you will see the reason in a second. But the first meaning, the word vain has two meanings. The first meaning of the word vain is right here. Vain means to be conceited, to be arrogant, to be egocentric, to be narcissistic. The word vain has one more meaning and therefore we're going to learn it separately so that we can have the two meanings next to each other. Why don't we leave this thing? Why don't we leave this thing there by itself? And that's the, that's the first meaning. Vain means to be conceited. To be conceited, to be overly proud of yourself, to be to be to be in love with yourself, to be ego egocentric, egomaniacal, to think highly of yourself, to think highly of yourself. And the, and the pronunciation of course is very simple. It's just vain. It has one more meaning. What does it mean if you do something in vain? If you do something, if you're told that you did it in vain, it means that it did not produce, it did not produce, not producing the desired result, the desired result. Something that you did, something that you did that turned out to be, something that you did that turned out to be fruitless. It did not yield anything. It did not give you anything. It was fruitless. You did. You put in all this effort, and nothing came off it. Nothing came out of it. It all the time and all the energy that you put into it was wasted. It was done in vain. You did it in vain. You did it in vain. Something that was futile. Something that was futile. That's an F. Fruitless. Fruitless. Futile. And the idiom that we use is idiom that we use is to do something, to do something in vain. In vain. People talk about is they would say that you you hope you hope in vain. What does it mean when somebody tells you that you're hoping in vain? What they're telling you is that what they're telling you is that I know you hope I, I know that you hope that this thing happens. I hope it rains tomorrow. I hope it rains tomorrow. And the other person says, Well, you hope in vain because I just read the weather forecast and they're telling us that we're gonna have a nice sunny day, 87 degrees. 87 Fahrenheit it is for those of you who are not in the US, not centigrade. That's a bit too hot. So if you have a nice sunny day, and if I'm hoping that it's going to rain tomorrow, obviously it's not going to rain tomorrow because Michael just told me that he read the weather forecast and they're telling us that we're going to have a nice sunny day. I hoped in vain. I hoped in vain. All the hoping that I did was fruitless, was futile. It did not produce any result. I hoped in vain. I worked. Uh, I, I got up late. I got up late in my uh, to this morning. I, I, didn't, I forget to set the alarm. I got up very late, uh, I had to take a very quick shower, very quick shower, put together my suitcase in a rush, 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 drive like a maniac, absolute maniac. You see maniacal, maniac right here, I drove like an absolute maniac to the airport to get there on time to catch my flight because I got up late and when I got there at the airport I learned that the flight has been cancelled, that, that the flight had been cancelled, had been past tense, had been cancelled. All that work and all that effort and all that hassle that I put into it was in vain because the pilot could not find his keys uh, to start the ignition. 
Well, obviously, you can't start the engine without, without the keys. You know, you need a key to start the ignition. Pilot couldn't find the keys, so the flight was cancelled. All that effort was in vain. Do you understand? Let's move on. The next words we're going to learn uh, have nothing to do with uh, being in vain or, or being considered or anything. These are these are different words. Uh, these are words. Next three or four words that we're going to learn. Next next three words rather. The next three words that we're going to learn. These three words all mean to throw somebody out of society, to outcast them, to banish them, to, to say we don't want to deal with you, go away, I don't want to deal with you. All the friends, all the family members say alright we don't want to deal with you anymore, just go away. Three words we're going to learn, they all mean the same thing or something very close to each other. Let's learn them together. Let's learn them together. The first word is it mean when you describe somebody as being a pariah? It's a noun. A pariah is somebody who is an outcast, an outcast. Somebody who is someone, someone who is shunned by the society. Somebody who is shunned by the society, somebody who is shunned by his peers, somebody who is shunned by his family members, somebody who is shunned by everybody around him. Everybody around him, they shun him, they don't want to deal with him. He is an outcast. He is a pariah. He is an outcast, he is a pariah. Why is he a pariah? Because he is shunned by everybody else. Let's learn the word shun. It's a verb. It means to avoid, to avoid dealing with. To avoid dealing with. For example, you might say that he, he, he shunned, he shunned his siblings. He shunned his siblings. He shunned his family members. If he shunned his siblings, that means he doesn't want to deal with his siblings, he doesn't want to uh, get in contact with them, he doesn't want to do anything to do with his family members. He has shunned everybody in his family. He has shunned everybody in his family. He avoids dealing with them, to shun. A pariah is somebody who is shunned by the society. Shun. When, when his classmates, when his classmates find out, when his classmates found out that his family business has gone bankrupt and Michael is no longer as rich as he was yesterday, everybody in, the, everybody in his class shunned him. Everybody in his class shunned him because he's not quite as wealthy as he was yesterday because his, fam his family business just went bankrupt. And as a, re as a result, everybody that Michael knew shunned him. They avoided dealing with him. They avoided dealing with him. Let's learn one more word. Let's learn one more word. We need the room, so we need to erase this thing. The next word we're going to learn is ostracize. Os tro size which means to, to banish, to banish, to exclude, to exclude from, to exclude someone from society. Or group. If you're excluding someone from society or a group, you're treating him as treating him as to treat someone as a pariah. 
to treat someone as a pariah, to exclude someone, to banish them. Go away, go away, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you because you're no longer as rich as you were yesterday. Go away because, uh, because you did this and this and this and therefore I don't want to deal with you anymore. Everybody has banished him, everybody has shunned him. He has been ostracized. He has been ostracized. This is the word. He has been ostracized. He is shunned by everybody. The noun of ostracized is Is um, that's the noun ostracism, which means banishment, exclusion, exclusion, banishment, ostracize, ostracism. I know.